Hi guys, Purple Bandana here with some Binding of Isaac, the Wrath of the Lamb, the DLC version. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had a little bit of a tickle in my throat. That type of year, I guess. Um, it's a new series I thought I'd do for the new year. Um, Happy New Year, everybody. Because even though it's not quite the new year for me, it's pretty close, and I'm going to be uploading it probably after. Um, yeah, sorry for the lack of videos the past, like, two weeks. I just, one reason, Mindplex, you might have heard in Mindplex Mondays if you watch those, uh, go check it out, TV channel, self-plug, ha. Ah. But anyway, I got, might have gotten like a virus or something, we re-imaged re my PC, I don't have a usual uh, recording program, uh, I'm going to be getting a new mic soon, so when I do get back up and running normally, I will have um, hopefully a bunch of pre-recorded videos and a new mic. I have a new editing program. I'm still learning how to use it a little bit, but it should be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. But anyway, I am moving stuff on my desk, which is probably not a good idea because making noise. Ah. Okay. I, as you might have seen, if you play any of this um, game at all, you notice that if the heart's like this, you've already beaten the game, which I have. I'm going to start, and I'm going to play as Kane because I like Kane, because he's always lucky. And if anybody that doesn't play the game, quick, do the controls. ASW, ASDW is to move around. Arrows to attack, you can also click with the mouse. A shift or E is bombs, and space is a power-up item. I always tend to go to the left. It might just be me. Oh, this is an easy room. Just get these guys quick. All right, Ooh, there we go. Kane, unlike Isaac, the main character, who's like the original character has two hearts but ooh, ooh, okay I think he does a little bit more damage I'm not sure oh, spiders two hits with these guys that's not bad at all mm -mm. I have a tickle in my throat again gosh dang it and, whoa alright there we go see that room doesn't take very much I'm going to go find the gold room which is normally where you get your space bar power-ups or you get some kind of like health boost or damage boost or something like that. Why are they all spiders? I really hope it's not the spider boss. Pills. Oh, telepills. Did not want to really do that. Telepills, they're random, but since I'm Kane, I can only get good pills. And that was, I guess, considered a good pill. I don't have a bomb. This is like a painted rock, special rock. I call it special rock sometimes. I don't know what I call it, really. But you need a bomb to blow them up, and they can give you special items. See, so ooh, Halo. All stats up. Nice. So now if I hit uh, escape, now my speed is up by another one, my range, damage, and my... Well, this is rate of fire. My range isn't that good, though. Hmm. Oh, well. So let's go fight the boss. If it's, I have a feeling it could be a spider boss, considering all the spiders we've seen so far. But, th however, the dungeons are all randomly generated, so just might be a coincidence. It's always Pin! Why is it always Pin? This is Pin, he kinda just hops wherever you are and you just kinda have to dodge him. I normally do really bad against him for some reason. Um, ooh, cause I just do stupid stuff and run into him and his hitbox is wonky. To me, it seems wonky. It seems like I'm being hit half the time when he's not actually hitting me. Ah! See, and then I do things like that and I run right into him. Okay. Oh. Ah, dang it! Stupid. If I die, I'll be very upset. There we go. And then they give you some hearts to replenish your health. I got Mom's coin purse, which has a bunch of pills in it. What does the blue pill do? Range up? Okay, I'll grab that other one. These are permanent, too, the pills. At least I think so. What does this one do? This one's health up, so that's really good. I'm not sure what this one does. <laughs> this one just makes me look stupid. I, it says I found pills and ate them. So, yeah. There's that. Alright, let's go down to the next floor. So there's cellar 1, cellar 2, and if you can see up at the top there's different sections than the skull. Um, you'll notice that there's, um, I think, 8, 6, okay, so 2, 4, 6, yeah, eight, and then there's like the final boss area. I could be wrong, I'm bad at math, so. Let's go in the gold room, so this is right here. 
a remote detonator. Okay, so this is used to remotely detonate my bombs. So basically, I have time bombs. But as I was saying, there's two cellars, two basements, uh, two cellars or basements, and then there is um, uh, like like the necropolis or something, and then there's like the depths. I can't speak depths. Ugh. Can't speak. But anyway, I, this will this is pretty good because bombs do actually a lot of damage. It's just hard to hit enemies with them sometimes. These spiders split into two and they're annoying. <laughs> yeah, if you can keep an eye on as much as possible on the screen, that will help you the most. Um, I have two hearts, which is not great. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so these guys you just got to train around. You got to be careful of the because they're, they're coded the AI so that way. Whenever um, you see one of these guys, they will try to corner you or trap you. One will normally uh, try to get a, get behind you. So, ooh, dang it, I ran into him. Normally, they will, one will try to walk around this way while the other ones are going this way. So they trap you. There's nothing over there, so that was kind of a pointless area. All right, let's go to the right. Oh, TNT and poop. Blow up TNT. Boom. Poop explosion. That sounds pleasant, doesn't it? Ooh, chest. These don't need a key. Ooh, another pill I haven't tried yet. Bombs are key. So now it switched my bombs and keys. So now I have two bombs instead of five bombs. Um, I don't know. With my power up, I kind of would have liked to have more bombs, but eh, oh well. So the boss room will probably be... Oh, not here. I guess it needs to be a couple more over. These guys have a... These guys have a boss uh, bar because they uh, eventually will get harder and have more life and yeah. yes, okay that was pretty close so that white fly down there you see in the bottom right he will not attack you he will still hurt you unless you break his poop like this then he's gonna be a powerful fly and he's gonna try to attack you and you don't really normally get anything out of it but I felt like getting rid of him so let's destroy the poop. You normally want to destroy the dung or poop or whatever you want to call it. Because um, sometimes it'll have money or a key in it or something. Not often, but it doesn't take long to destroy. Oh, this Gemini. This guy is annoying. Ah, see how much damage that did? No. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Uh-oh, I trapped myself. I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, that was really bad. I was focusing too much on using my bombs, and I wasn't doing very good again. Oh, I got the Curse of Darkness. How wonderful. Wonderful. It's just going to get luckier and luckier as I go around, right? Yeah, I thought Kane was supposed to be lucky, not unlucky. Gosh dang it. Why am I getting... I get pissed at this game fairly easily, sometimes. Alright. So now, since the Curse of Darkness, it doesn't show me anything on the map. Um, so... Now, I basically have to guess and remember where I'm going to go, so that makes everything fun, doesn't it? Ugh, come on. Come on! Stupid! Stupid thing! You should die! So you need to, to blow up the rocks, you need a bomb to get a bomb, so that's kind of pointless anyway. Get this guy out of here. So here's a tip. If you run at the en enemy and shoot a bunch, you'll hit him multiple times. And if you know how many hits they take, it's good to get like a final run at them or do lots of damage. Ow. Come on. Come on, let's get this guy. Okay, got a heart, my heart back off of that. Let's go in this gold room. Teleport. I don't really like this one because it's not really that good. It will just teleport me out of a room. So it's not really that useful. So we gotta face Widow. Ah, gosh dang it. Gosh dang it! I'm doing so bad. No! I will not die! No, please! Gosh dang it, I'm terrible. I will get a good run out of this. I will get a good run. I need a good run. One good run, and then I'll probably end off the video. Or at least cut the video to an episode. Okay, come on. Concentrate. The thing is, though, the reason I'm probably not concentrating is I'm not used to commentating on this game. Because I'm not too bad at this game normally. It's just that I 
it's hard for me to talk and play the game like I normally do at the same time. So I will do my best to concentrate. Sorry if I get quiet a couple times. Oop, let's get the that guy. Now let's get this guy. I'm really trying to concentrate. <laughs> Don't let this regenerate. Okay, good. We got that. Come on, we're making progress. Making progress. Let's get that guy twice. Get some two hits, two hits, two hits, two hits. Okay. One more. This should I shouldn't get hurt there here. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Gosh! Mmm! I want to slap it. All right, so guys that are different colors, you might have seen a couple times, they will do more damage to you, or they have more health, one of the two. All right, come on. All right, that guy is easy. Let's blow this up for the heck of it. Let's get rid of these. Okay, got the gold room. All right, gold room, what is it? A little chub. All right, this guy's actually pretty good, because he does a lot of damage. You have to let him recharge a little bit, but then when you're not moving, you can shoot, and he'll fire out. So, yeah, and he has a pretty good range. So, there we go. Okay, let's find the boss room and get this over with. I want to get farther than the first room for a change. Okay. These guys. This is a really easy room, despite this fly being here. Oh, see. Killing all the enemies will sometimes give you a chest, a tick. Okay, so this is like a bonus thing. I'm not exactly sure what it does. It might give you more damage or something. I have no idea. Um, but uh, you can't get rid of the tick. It's like a parasite. So I guess it's down here, the boss room, obviously. I try to just go for the gold room and then the boss room right away, so I don't have to worry about the other rooms unless I'm going for health or something. Yeah, see, Chubb, he basically just wrecked through those guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, I want to get these because the white one. Ooh, I don't want to pick up the white one though. Okay, so if I pick up the white one now and I get hurt, it's gone. I lose it. But if I pick up the white one and go through the trap door at the end, it will give me another heart container. So I'm gonna go face the boss, and then I will. And then I will fa and then I will go pick that up. So yeah, it gives me a guaranteed heart out of it if I can beat the boss. See, if I can hit Chub a few times with this guy. Come on, come on, come on, Chub! Oh, come on, Chub! Come on, Chub! 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 Yeah, Chub! Get that Chub! Get that Chub! Get that Chub! Get him, Chub! Yes. Okay, if I can do this without getting hurt, I'll be very happy. Yep. Yeah. All right, I got the box. It drops a bunch of items and gives me a box. I mean a box. A bomb key. What's this? Hello. What's this? Um. Okay. Maybe I can't pick that up. Oh, I know what it is. Cause it's like.